Hi, I'm Michael Gordon. I'm the faculty director of the Center for Social Impact at the Ross School of Business. I'm delighted today to be talking to Lakshmi Partha Sarathi of Ashoka.org. Lakshmi, welcome. Thank you, Michael. Thanks so much for having me here. It's great to be at University of Michigan. Um, could you describe a bit what the global media partnerships, which you direct, is involved with? Absolutely. Um, so my role at Ashoka primarily focuses on building partnerships uh, through products and through content uh, with publishers around the world. Um, so Ashoka is working on not just focusing on selecting these leading social entrepreneurs, but we're actually zooming out to figure out what are the patterns that we can distill from these 3,500 Ashoka fellows across the world, and what can we learn as society from these social entrepreneurs who are who have always seen what we call an everyone a change maker world, where we're all contributing to solutions, not just identifying problems. Um, and so one of the areas of focus that I'm most passionate about and focusing on in terms of my work is media innovations. Thank you, thank you. Um, so can you describe some of the key takeaways you learned in your study this summer? Great. So, you know, the first, as I mentioned, improving the infrastructure and environment within which the media mm -hmm. operates. Um, now, just to give you an example of what that looks like, um, in some countries, there is a reliance on the hub and spoke model for internet usage. Um, now, Sasha Meinreth, one of our Ashoka fellows, has developed a model that does not require um, reliance on the hub. So if you can imagine in a country perhaps with uh, a lower um, level of freedom of press and perhaps a dictatorship or perhaps an environment where information is controlled, if someone in power does not want information to be distributed, they're very easily able to shut the hub down and ensure that information is not shared. Now Sasha's model doesn't rely on the hub and so he's built these mesh networks um, that don't rely on this hub model and are, is able to help citizens share information more freely. So that's what I mean by a leading social entrepreneur working on mm -hmm. an infrastructure issue. Um, now another was improving standards of reporting um, to strengthen the quality of journalism. So many of our fellows are working on training programs for this. Um, some of them are working on bringing trainings into mainstream newsrooms around uh, diversity, um, and, and the list goes on there. Um, but that that's actually one of our strengths in the portfolio. Uh, ensuring the media is a tool for civic engagement. We see how important that is today in particular. Um, and you see how some of our fellows are engaging young people um, in creating the content themselves and sharing their opinions um, in professionalizing how young people share their content. Um, so that's, that's uh, goal number three, making the media self-sustaining business. Now this one's really interesting because we see this uh, across the mainstream media sector as a challenge that everyone is facing. Now we have four Ashoka fellows that are working on this area, um, and it's clearly not one of our greatest strengths. We need to be electing more fellows that are focusing on creating these self-sustaining business models. Um, but when you take a look at how they're doing this, it doesn't mean necessarily that their entire solution is focused on a new business model or a sustainable business model, but that there is an element of their work that is not reliant on donor support. Um, and so I think that there's a lot that the mainstream media can learn from these fellows. Um, and now the final one is increasing media literacy by providing the public with diverse and representative content. Um, again, fellows are doing this in, in many different ways, um, but you, you see and hear many different organizations focusing on media literacy today, uh, primarily here in the United States. And Ashoka fellows have been working on this around the world uh, in some of the most remote rural communities, and I think there's a lot that we can learn from them. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your coming in today. Thanks. Thanks Michael.